6.09 and a gorgeous weekend we had. Well, it was, uh, it was decent yesterday. Yeah, I was surprised at how little sun that we saw at my place on Saturday. But we'll try to make up for it, Mary, adding a bit more to your latest forecast. And this weather report is brought to you by Seattle Museum Month. Got to bring up our almanac for this date in history for one reason only. Sunset coming after 5 p.m. We finally made it to that, uh, that threshold. So day is getting a little longer with each passing day. And, of course, we still have the high-pressure ridge locked in place. It was there all weekend, but a bit of a dirty ridge. So much cloud covering the south coast during parts of the weekend. Continuing for part of today, there's a few more clouds coming over the top of the ridge, spilling down over the local mountains. We see them if we zoom in a bit on the satellite and Doppler radar here. And, of course, on the Doppler radar, nothing to be found. This is a rain-free forecast for at least a few days yet. But here come the early morning clouds spreading down from the north. So I suspect we'll have a fair amount of cloud cover this morning. And then as the breeze picks up from the Fraser Valley, it starts to clear again. A beautiful day, 10 degrees inland, 8 by the shoreline, keeping it generally sunny and dry tomorrow and for part of Wednesday. And then Thursday is really our transition day. We get back to wetter weather on Thursday into Friday. Lots of rain. What is that squirrely little icon down here? Well, that is your groundhog for Groundhog Day Saturday morning. And as it stands, lots of clouds, lots of showers. I guess we'll keep our fingers crossed and see what the little rodent tells us. That's inside. right. And our other favorite rodent in the building. Good morning, Thor. <laughs> Just gnawing on the drywall over here. Yeah. Things are going to get squirrely.